guys, today we are going to talk about the four worst sets in Magic the Gathering history. A lot of you don't realize how well off you are today with Magic the Gathering product. Back then, when a set failed, it was a disaster because there was not any supplemental product like Commander, Eternal Masters, Modern Masters, Dual Decks, etc. If a set failed, you were stuck with that set for four months and it was really, really boring and really, really bad. So this is the list of the top four worst Magic the Gathering sets according to me. I would love for you guys to leave a comment of which sets that you really didn't like. But compared to Kalidus, Kalidus compares very well to these current sets. So let's talk about Fallen Empires. One of the biggest problems of Fallen Empires, small set, but they printed so much of it. This was them printing unlimited amount of it, when in fact no one wanted it. And it was such a small set that even the, the small percentage of people who wanted it already got all the cards they needed. This was an experiment, I believe, in how much magic product a player would buy. But it didn't work well, out well because no one wanted to buy it. And you could get packs for less than 75 cents. I remember seeing these for two for a dollar at the Pennsylvania Renaissance Fair. And uh, yeah, it was not a good seller and just too small of a set to be printed that much. Next, we're going to talk about a more recent set. This set was a total bomb and the most valuable card in this set right now is a common, Rhystic Study, which is a, a great card, definitely a great card in EDH, but there's like no other card over a dollar, I believe. So this entire... I mean, it was a very bad set. Extremely underpowered. Avatar of Woe was considered very good. And I remember making deck with the Avatars and Bell's Portal. It was really bad. But as you know, a middle schooler, you don't know how bad you it is until like later on. Overall, just a very, very weak set. Uh, very little demand. And... I believe at this point the Wizards of the Coast still had a store. Next, Code Snap. Code Snap was ridiculous. I can't even tell you how ridiculous it was because we never ran any events. They had Wizards of the Coast had so much of this in stock. No one wanted it. It was just a random weird set. Code Snap was released as a modern era set when in fact it should have been released with alliance but it was so bad back then they couldn't release it uh, and otherwise the game would have tanked so they decided to release it like four years later i don't know if that makes sense to anyone but code snap largely a terrible set and very very bad now we get into my number one pick it has to be chronicles chronicles is the reason we have the reprint policy the reserve list with every new set, there are people who refer to Chronicles as, you know, hey, we need to protect our collections. It is the set with the most impact. I believe it's a negative impact on Magic the Gathering as a game. It is the reason that Dual Lands cannot not be reprinted, which kills Legacy. And it is based on collectors. So it's based on collectors. Again not players collectors so it wasn't a player concern to do the reserve list it was a collecting concern we play a game with i think anywhere between 10 to 12 million to 20 million depending on how hasbro wants to identify magic the gathering players i don't know what percentage of them are collectors but to have something that prevents them from playing an entire format prevents them from having good EDH card. Chronicles has to be the worst set of all time just strictly due to its impact. Now, did it tank prices? Not as much as you would believe. Chronicles tanked some of the card prices, but not all of them. And one of the arguments that why we should have the reserve list 
is because we don't want Chronicles to happen again. Chronicles was just such a poorly managed concept from initiation. I mean, it was not a reprint. It was like, let's be lazy and pick just random cards and put them in a set. There are no incredibly valuable cards in Chronicle. None. So, for it to spike prices like it has today, and for this set to be so underwhelmingly unpowerful, ironic to say the least. Anyway, that is my list. I look forward to hearing from you guys as well. Bye.